Hi everyone, it's Melissa Simcox um, from My Mimi with Love, and I wanted to let you all see Sadie. She's over there sunning in the afternoon sun. Hope everyone's doing okay today. Uh, I've got another project to share with you guys. I have completed a TN notebook, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it, but wanted to share it with you guys and let y'all have a look at it and once again this is on Etsy so hop on over there and take a look if you're interested anyhow let me let me get started and show you guys what I've done um, on the front here the cover is once again made out of wallpaper samples um, here's the back, and then here is the front. I've done a little um, border down through here with the um, seahorses. And then here you see I've got a couple charms. Here's some beads, and then here is a little seahorse as well. Then here, the clothes, uh, to keep it closed, I've got a big, this is a big button. And I mean, I've had this since probably 2004 or something. But it's this huge button. And I've just sewn it on. And to open it, you just take this string out and you unwrap it. And that opens the book. But the little seahorse is just dangling <laughs> on the butt. They've sewn the button in. So like I said, this is a TN. So um, your insert can go in and out. Um, and this one is about the beach, guys. Now on this one, I've left it rel relatively plain. Um, I haven't done a lot of artwork or anything in this one, so I just figured it, it would be one of the ones I, I made that had a little less artwork in case someone wanted a little more to do in a, in a TN notebook. But over here, I've, there's a, a paper with an anchor on it, and then this is some scrapbook paper that I've got. Um, here's a pocket, and I've done a little bit of inking on these cards on the tag, but I haven't actually made a tag. I've just got that inserted so um, you can make a tag with it. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit. There we go. I think that's better. But yeah, you can just use that. And this is a pocket. I'll just leave all this out until we're done. Uh, then over here is another piece of scrapbooking paper. And it, it is so old, honestly. This is, I've had this paper here for years and years. Um, then here I've got a little pocket. And this is made out of corrugated paper. And it's got some little flip-flops. And here, once again, I haven't made tags, but I've inserted material to make tags with or to use. Over here is a, a page from a calendar. And there is the back of it. Then here is, uh, it says, let the sea set. So it's a, it's a little mermaid. Um, then here is another page of a calendar with some sunglasses, and up here is a little, uh, secret journaling spot, just pulls out like that, and then holds back up. Then there's the back of that calendar page, and then here's some, um, Tracing paper. Here's uh, a beach scene. Uh, 
Um, and then there's the back of that. And this is coloring from like a 1900s bathing suit page. So there's some ladies in their bathing suits. Um, then this page, I have done a little tuck spot here with a mermaid. And this is a, a die cut from Fun With Paper Art. I did discover that she was the one that sent me the cute little bunnies in my Easter journal. So I wanted to give a shout out to her because she also sent me this little die here. And someone also sent me the mermaid and fish in friend mail along with um, the tag and the little... Um, the two little tags I've got inserted right there. Um, here's a page, another um, calendar page. And as you can see, it's upside down. It's stand tall, darling. Here's the back side of that. And in here, I've got a little tuck spot. And here's a little envelope with a little um, tag in it. Um, then over here, we've got some um, vellum paper, and I think that's so cute because it almost looks like um, sand. Then here's a little tuck spot with a little sailor boy on him um, behind the, the lighthouse. Here is a, a coloring page that I've printed at some point. With some seashells and that kind of stuff on it. Here's another scrapbooking sheet. And then here I've got some ladies in some retro bathing suits. And that's a pocket. And here's just a little sheet for journaling. I think the, um, the little retro ladies are so cute. Then on this side is the other... Another one of the, um, like, 1900 bathing suits. Then here's uh, the other half of one of the calendar pages. And here I've got a little tuck spot with a kind of a tropical leaf um, acetate tag. Here's the other side of a calendar page and it says no bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings and here's a, a page with some airplanes on it and that folds out like that for some extra journaling and here's uh, the other part of the um, tracing paper and it's got some I've got a seashell border on it. Um, then here's a, a tuck spot. And down here is another anchor. And someone also sent me this anchor in friend mail. Um, but like, like I said, I haven't done a lot of um, media, you know, different medias or art or paints and stuff. Chalk on this one, I just kind of, I've left it plain for the recipient to do. Then here's a little tuck spot, and there's two little tags here. And then we've also got a little secret corner spot. And I've just got the little um, flamingo paper clip to hold that together. Oops. Then here on this, I have... I used a napkin that, once again, someone sent me in, in friend mail. And it was of a, it was a watermelon. And this is a Hallmark bag. Um, the paper bag you get when you buy a card at the Hallmark shop. So I decoupage the napkin onto the bag. And I, I just love the effect of this. I thought it turned out 
So cute. Uh, I love the texture and everything. And inside here, guys, I've got a little card of three three ladies on the beach. Zena colored this and did some ink work on the background. And that just fits right down in there. And then here on the other side, you can see that the um, it says keep your heart brave and whatever else. But um, this is the other part of the Hallmark bag. And over here is a, uh, another calendar page with a pineapple. And I've got a little tuck spot here with a, an acetate pineapple tag. Here's the back of that calendar. Here's the other um, scrapbooking paper that, like I said, I have had since the early 2000s. And then I've got a, a tuck spot here on the back of uh, scrapbooking paper as well with a pocket. And I've got two. Um, this says my beach checklist. And then that's a map. Just some, you know, journaling cards. Then here's my elastic. And there is the middle of the book. And I've got a envelope here made out of a palm tree. Because I've sewn my, um, the insert together. So this hides the insert strings and then all you see is the elastic here's the back side of those uh be a pineapple stand tall wear a crown and be sweet and then here you can see is that hallmark bag um and there you can see on it it says hallmark and there's the rest of the saying something something wild and in this pocket, I've got a little cute little card that you can color or journal on, whatever. And then here's the back side of the watermelon decoupage napkin on the Hallmark bag, which, once again, I, I just love. This turned out so cute. I love it. And I've got over here another... Uh, this is a piece of scrapbooking paper. Here's the butt of a turtle that I colored. And then when you turn the page, there's his cute little head. But I colored this, I don't even know, three or four years ago. Then you open that and it says lazy days. Lazy days of summer. And my little turtle is just a little flat. Here's the other part of the tracing paper. Then on this page, I've got a little tag. And this is this is just a tag, and it says life is good. But this is a brand. It's a piece of clothing. I haven't done anything to it. I just like it as is. And I thought whoever got the book might want to change it or whatever. But it just slides down in that little um, pocket made out of bicycles. There's the other plane and that part of that page, the back of the calendar. Here's the bottom of the one column page with the bathing beauty. Here's the other part of the that scrapbooking paper. It's got a little dragonfly coming in. And then over here, guys, I have done another no snag paper clip. So this is a paper clip, and I just love this because it's really wide enough to, to hold your papers good and snug. And I've got a little um, chip wheel on there, and there's some more of the little um, seahorses. And then on this is the back of an envelope, and I've got some water and a little... A little sailboat there and then when you turn the page this this comes up and you can see this is like it's lace paper but it's it's paper but it's a lace paper on the front of the envelope 
the envelope flaps out and inside is a little secret pocket and I've got a little note card in there and then that is the other half of that coloring page that I had done and then over here is another lighthouse and this is one of the graphic 45 um, cutouts and I just got that tuck spot right there and this paper is the homemade or handmade um, paper you really can't see the texture in it but it's really neat and then there's the other part of that vellum it looks like sand here's another calendar page and the other part of that upside down um, flamingo here's the uh, the other water page and this is a um, vellum envelope and I've got it cut so you can see the little fish swimming across the bottom and then that's just a little coloring page and that just slides right there so you've got a little you know in, uh, pocket there then here's the rest of that um, coloring page with the ladies and I think it says here, y'all, yeah, 1895 bathing suits. And then here's the other part of the beach scene. And it is um, a palm tree, which is really pretty. And then this is a, a sheet out of a catalog that I got this spring for summer beach bedspreads and stuff and I just loved it. I love the colors and the um, bedspread. So as you can see it says $89 but I put that in there and there. Here's the other side which is pretty beachy as well. And then here is another little tux pot with a um, this is a canvas, material canvas tag, and that, once again, I did receive in friend mail. Here's another little secret journal spot, and then that just folds back in there. I've got, accidentally left the, the pocket out there. And then there's the other... Um, part of the glasses page. Here's the rest of the mermaid. And another part of calendar page. Uh, and then I got this little crab along with the anchor in friend mail. And I've just got one of the little, um, which I also got in friend mail, this little calendar journaling card and the crabs holding it and then here's my last page which is the other you know part of that scrapbooking paper and here's the other scrapbooking paper on the back is the anchor paper again and then over here I've made a pocket out of um, a coloring page that says never made a skillful sailor and I've got one two three pockets right in here and once again this is American Youth it's a nice cardstock tag but I've done nothing with it it's still got the, the rope and the little pin that came on it, but it is ready to be um, decorated or re repurposed. Uh, Enclose the this um, map, little map scrap paper, and then here is another um, tag that hasn't, it's got the sewing across it, the two eyelets, but um, that's about all that's been done with it. 
So I've just inserted those um, so the recipient can uh, do what she wants or he wants with those. But there it is, guys. That is my 10 notebook, another um, project that I have been working on in the past little bit. And once again, to close it, you just wrap it around <clears throat> while tucking it under the button. And on the third time, just bring it down. And it is a very secure closure. Um, and I think it's just extremely cute and just a really cute TM. I'm just thrilled with it. I had a lot of fun doing this. I really, you know, Gracie Beach Mom 13 is the one that turned me on to um, 10 notebooks. And I definitely caught the bug. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for stopping by. As always, if you haven't, please hit that sub button, subscribe. I'd love to have you on my channel. Um, hit the bell for notices when I put up a new um, video. Thanks so much for spending your time with me today. I hope, you know, this finds everyone well. Um, once again, all my prayers go out to everyone. I know everyone is with me when we're when I say we're all praying for this uh, virus to go away and and all that good stuff. So God bless you all. And once again, from By Me With Love, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Bye-bye.